guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm gonna to share with you how you can get affordable pillar candles, pillar candle holders, you know, like the hurricane candle holders that are different height and cylindrical, and floating candles for a pretty affordable price. If you have a wedding coming up, or a special event where the main thing you're gonna decorate the tables with or the wedding aisle with is candles, you're gonna need a ton of candles. For my wedding, we had about 130 candles and candle holders, all of them being like proper cylinder candle holders of varying heights. And um, if you're not careful, it can cost you seriously a small fortune, especially if you try and rent them. It can cost you hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of dollars. I know when we were quoted from our florist to provide the candles, it was about $8 per candle as a standard price. And we needed by her what she thought was reasonable. She thought we needed about 70 candles. And like I mentioned, we ended up with 130 ish candles uh, and we did it all ourselves for much less than what the florist is gonna charge us. So if you wanna know how you can get affordable candles, just keep on watching. Okay, so I'm gonna break down this explanation into kind of three sections. I wanna preface this by saying this is gonna be the most helpful for people in Canada. I'm located in Canada and as every Canadian knows, if you're trying to get things at an affordable price, you're gonna run into major issues compared to the US. So I'm going to include US prices as well because I think there are some things that really are applicable to both Canada and the US. But really, like if I'm being truly honest, the whole um, info session is gonna be super applicable to Canada and really gonna help you get the cheapest things in Canada. And in the US, it's just helpful if you're on your search. So gonna be honest there. So I'm gonna break this up into three sections. First one is gonna talk about the candle holders, like cylinder candle holders and where you can get those for an affordable price. The next part is going to be about the actual candles and what your options are there for cheap prices. And then the last thing is going to be about, so those. So the second part is going to be about pillar candles specifically. And then the third part is going to be about floating candles, which are of course a great cheaper alternative to the pillar candles. I used a mix of them at my wedding just to keep costs down, but you can do whatever you want. I've seen people use all floating candles and then they can do that very affordably, but I wanted that mix. So here we go. I have everything written down on this little notebook here just so that I can keep everything and all the details in mind. And then just so you know, I'm gonna link everything I can down below. Sadly, some of the stuff you have to buy in person in Canada, uh, but in the US for some of this stuff, you can buy it online. So I'm gonna link it down below. And one last thing I wanna say, if you're in Canada, it might actually be worth it for you if you're going to the US before your wedding or your event to ship things from the US to your hotel. Um, or if you have like a border kind of service box, I know some people have that. And we're just across the border, they'll get their package held. Uh, that could be really beneficial too, and it's a good way to just save some money. Okay, so let's start off with candle holders. I'm really only gonna speak to the cylinder candle holders because that's where I did the most um, research and that's what I thought looked the prettiest on tables. And FYI, I also had candle holders like this going down my aisle and it was so pretty. So for the candle holders, we have a couple different heights that will be a really good combination for your table decoration. And they are four inch, seven inch, nine inch, and 12 inch. So you could use any three or four combinations if you desire. The four inch holders, the cheapest place you can get them is at the Dollar Tree. In Canada, that costs $125 per candle holder. In the US, it's $1 per candle holder, and that is the absolute cheapest price I've seen them where you can get them in bulk. Fun fact about the Dollar Tree, if you're in the US, you can order that online in bulk. And in Canada, if you speak to a store manager, they can actually order it in, like in the quantity that you need, in the number of cases that you need or whatever, and then you can pay when you go to pick them up. So that's a fun fact. So that's the four inch holders. The seven inch holders, you can also get same thing at Dollar Tree. Same price as the previous, 125 in Canada, $1 in the US. They're super pretty and they just look perfect. And what I like is that you'll really get the full quantity that you want there in store. For the nine inch, so this is the tricky thing. In the US, again, you can get this at the Dollar Tree and again it's one dollar in the us however you cannot get it in canada and that's really unfortunate because if you only needed three different lengths you really could stop there and get the four inch seven inch nine inch 
super affordable, all of them, and you'd just be good to go. However, the nine inch isn't available in Canada, so what that means is we're moving on to the 12 inch. The 12 inch, this is an option that I found in Canada, but isn't available in the US. And if you go to the Dollarama in their vase section, they have 12 inch vases for $4 each. Now that's quite a bit more expensive. That being said, they're really quite tall and big and they're pretty. You might think or question, are these actually glass? But they are, I can assure you that. I'm not sure exactly what type of glass they are because you might think they're quite light. So you might think that maybe they're plastic, but I use them all through my wedding. I burned one actually as a test. I lit a pillar candle and I left it for like 12 hours to see what would happen. And it's, it's legitimately glass. So wear tests on that completed. And then just to cover off, if you wanted anything taller than 12 inch, because for my wedding aisle, for example, I wanted some, I wanted all those candles. Plus I wanted really tall ones. So we got ones up until, you know, like 24 inches tall, I think. Um, and basically if you try and buy those tall vases in a store, they are crazily expensive. Like we're talking $50, especially in Canada In the U S there are some places you can get them a little bit cheaper, but they're very expensive. Um, and so the best thing I can tell you for that is to hit up, uh, thrift stores in both Canada and the U S you can get super affordable prices there. That's basically what we did. We did like a value village world tour <laughs> and stopped at so many spots. And while we were doing that, we also found some super cheap, um, shorter vases. So then that just kind of mixed in or different size vases, some wider ones, um, usually priced at around a dollar or $2. So we just picked those up as well. Or if you have tons of money, we could go to like Michael's and then use their 50% off coupons. But again, that still ends up being quite expensive. Best bet is really the thrift store for those taller ones. Okay. So now we're moving on to section two, the candles. Okay. So. I really wanted my dream was to have all pillar candles, but with the taller vases, specifically the 12 inch vases and some of the taller ones that we got that were from the thrift store for like 15 inches and 16 inches and 20 inches. Um, it just wasn't feasible, especially like 24 inches is very tall. You would need like a massive pillar for it to really look right. But I did find some really good deals for the pillar candles. Uh, I checked out all the dollar stores and I didn't think that any of those had really good deals. In the US, there are tons of candle wholesalers. So I'm just going to say that you can listen to the information I'm going to provide and then cross reference that with some of the wholesalers. However, in Canada, those wholesalers will charge you a ton in duties and in shipping where they just won't ship to Canada. Um, so I can tell you with certainty, I spent so much time looking into this and these are the cheapest options especially in Canada. So here we go. We have three and a quarter inch candles and you can get them from Ikea and they're four for 249 Canadian. Okay. And that is like a crazy, insane, super cheap deal. Those are perfect for the four inch candle holders. Okay. That you get from the dollar tree in the U S the set of three and a quarter inch candles is actually $2.99. It is the only thing that I found that's actually cheaper in Canada than it is in the US, which is very surprising. That never happens. Next, we have the four inch candles, which go perfectly into the seven inch candle holders. And those also from Ikea are $1.79 Canadian. So still pretty affordable. And in the US, they're cheaper. They're actually 99 cents US dollars. Next we have the six inch candles, which go perfectly in the nine inch candle holders. We actually did have nine inch candle holders because we picked them up from thrift stores. Fun fact. Um, these six inch candles, the pillar candles are $1.99 Canadian also at Ikea and they're also $1.99 in the U S so same price Canada and U S and that's still pretty good. And then, Last but not least, we have the seven and three quarter inch candles from Ikea. Also, they are $4.99 Canadian, which is getting quite expensive if you have a ton of them. Um, or in the US, they're $3.99 US dollars. So that's that for the pillar candles. If you're set on pillar candles, I guarantee you, you're not going to find something cheaper anywhere else in Canada because I checked everywhere. <laughs> um, and, and what I found is that they are just insanely expensive. The taller they get, the more expensive they are. And that's that. Yeah. 
You also wanna make sure if you're ordering these candles from different places that they're all the same color. You wouldn't want some to be pure white and some to be off-white. That would be kind of weird, I think. Wouldn't look that classy. You want like a cohesive look there. So finally, we're moving on to the floating candles. This is a super cheap alternative. Um, I ended up using a mix of that for my, like I actually had a dream of using all pillar candles because I thought that looked really pretty, but actually what happened was we had some candle holders that were just a little too narrow and so we had to put floating candles in those, so those are a good substitute for that. And then we also had some candle holders that um, were just too tall, so we needed to like make the floating flame part higher and so we just used floating candles for that instead of spending like $100 on a massive pillar candle. There was just no point in that. So in Canada, da -da -da -da, the cheapest place you can get floating candles in Canada is from Walmart online, the Canadian site. They sell it under a brand called Just Candles and they sell it for a package of 18 for $18 Canadian, which is $1 per candle and that is the cheapest place I could find them and they're actually three inches wide, which is really what you want. If you go to Michael's or you go to any other like main store where you think you might be able to find a deal for candles, they tend to sell their cheaper candles or even online on Amazon, whatever. Their cheaper candles actually end up being kind of like mini floating candles. So they're like, I don't know, one inch, one and a half inches maybe. Whereas the Walmart online ones are three inches, which means they're gonna burn through your whole event. Um, I think the burn time is eight to 10 hours. Actually, I should have mentioned that. The burn time on all the candles that I've mentioned here is really long. Even the short, um, the shortest three and a quarter inch candles, I think the burn time is several hours, several, maybe 15 hours or something. Um, so well through a whole, a whole wedding. Um, and then the floating candles, like I said, I think the burn time is 10 hours, so also really good burn time. And then in the US for floating candles, I just did a quick search because I just had a feeling if in Canada, the cheapest you can get it is $1 per candle. In the US, that's probably, it has to be cheaper in the US somewhere. And I saw on Amazon, you can get the three inch candles for about 60 cents per candle. You get them in bulk, I think it was like, 72 candles for $45 or something like that, or at Wholesale Candles Direct, I think. Wholesale Candles Direct, yeah, that's what it's called. Um, not that I wanna call it a brand, it's just I just looked it up and that's, that's what I found. Um, so in the US, you can definitely find it for very affordable prices. And again, if you're in Canada, you're going to the US, might be worth it for you to look at that option as well. And then I just wanna give you kinda a few tips here if you do go this road and you get your whole bulk order here. And here are my tips for you. Number one, make sure that when you buy the, the pillar candles and the candle holders, if you decide to mix and match from other places or buy from thrift stores, or you don't follow kind of what I've suggested here, make sure you test the size of your candles to the candle holders um, in advance of your wedding because you might run into what we ran into, which is the thrifted nine inch candle holders not fitting the pillar candles and therefore needing floating candles. And another thing is when you're going to buy these candles in bulk, it really helps to have boxes in your car um, to kind of pack all these candles in because often these stores won't have boxes that they can give you or the boxes just really aren't very good. So it's definitely helpful and they get very heavy. The third thing, because they are so heavy, it is very helpful if you have someone like your fiance or your dad or brother or someone, maybe you're really strong, unlike me, but someone who has a lot of strength to carry them because you don't wanna hurt your back, they, are, they get very heavy. Like if you have a box of 12, 12 inch candle holders, they're very heavy. And the candles, the pillar candles themselves also get very heavy because I was stuck in Ikea by myself with one of the Ikea bags with like, 80 candles in there and I literally didn't know what to do. I was like, do I drag this on the floor? It was a struggle. So that's another tip. And then I think my final tip, which is actually a really great tip, um, sell these candles after you use them because I did. So I think in total we spent maybe, I don't know, maybe $500 on candles. So let's just break that down for a second. 
I think we spent $500 on 130 candles, which is definitely cheaper than if you rented them, right? And we sold them for about $300. So when you think of that, the actual cost is really low and people will buy them in bulk and people will buy them even with the candle wax stripped down the side because that's how mine were and I sold all of them and I had so many inquiries. So they sold very fast so you can just recoup some of that money that you spent and not feel so bad about it. Okay guys, hope you found this video helpful. If you're Canadian, I just wanna help you out because these are my everyday struggles in life and especially with planning a wedding. So I know my channel is usually doing DIYs and that's a big part of what I like to do in my personal life, but sometimes you also need just some help in finding products at good prices when you're trying to DIY your wedding. So really this is in the realm of DIY, okay? So I feel about it. If you like this video, don't forget to like it down below, leave a comment, and subscribe to my channel. If you have other tips on where to get cheap candles, where you are, leave a comment down below and help someone else out. Thanks for watching. Until next time.